so friends for today's demonstration i will be using ftk imager to show how to create an forensic image let's power up our ftk imager and make sure the imager is starting with administrative privileges so that we are able to capture all the bits without any interruption now guys in ftk there are many functions but today we will concentrate only on acquiring image for today's demonstration i will be making an forensic image of my pen drive connected to laptop first click on files and then click on create disk image here you will see a window asking you for your source type so let us see all the options one by one the first source evidence type is physical drive physical drive that means all the physical devices connected to your system that are any internal hard disk ssds external hard disk pen drive memory cards etc the second option is logical drive logical drives are any logical drives in your system like c drive d drive and other virtual drives image file image file is an previously acquired forensic image the fourth option is content of a folder content of a folder creates image of a particular folder you want to acquire but guys keep in the mind that while acquiring image of any particular folder you will not be able to recover any deleted data from this option and the last option is multiple cd and dvds for today's demonstration we will create image of a physical drive so click physical drive next here you select the physical device you want to create image of in this case i will select my scan disk cruiser blade usb drive and say finish now we select the physical device for which we have to create forensic image i would like to remind you guys that whenever i work on a sensitive case i always use write blocker devices while connecting evidence to my system so that original evidence is not tampered now on this window you will be asked the location of where you want to save your image keep in mind to give the location of another drive and not the same drive of which you are creating image of click on add here we are asked to select the destination image type those are raw smart e01 aff these are all the types of forensic images i will try to make a video of different type of forensic images but today we will acquire e01 as it is the most widely used select e01 and click next here you will fill all the in evidence information like case number that is 100 next the evidence number for this acquisition i will keep it as 002 unique description of image if you want to examiner name and additional notes if you want to add any now select next here you will select browse and select the destination path where you want to create the image in this case i will be creating my image in this folder select the folder okay and give the image file name here you will see image fragment size your image will be divided into smaller chunks or fragments here you define the size of those fragments this does not affect any data you are acquiring next you will see the compression level i would suggest you to leave is leave it as it is if you increase the compression level the time taken to acquire the image will also increase friends i would like to share an important information here always check the verify image here after they are created 
This makes sure that your image is created and verified that all the data is acquired properly. When you are called as an expert witness in court of law, you might be asked whether you have verified your evidence after acquiring. You can open the log files and show that the verification was done after creating the image. It increases the time of acquisition, but make sure that the image was acquired properly. So we'll check this box and say start. Here you can see the progress of your image being created. Guys, now you can see our forensic image is being created properly. On this screen, you can select image summary. Here you can see all the information of your image. The information you filled while acquiring image, the case number, the evidence number, unique description, examiner, and any notes necessary. Information for path where the image has been saved, the source type, tracks per cylinder, sector count. Also, the hash value of your image is been created. The image information, acquisition started, acquisition finished. And this is the most important factor that I, I had explained while acquiring the image. The image verification results. The verification started starting date, verification end date, and hash value. Click OK. Close. Here you can see also see the information of your image. If bad sectors were found, it will be denoted in this section. Close. Now we will see how the image is created. Go to the folder where you have created your FTK image. Here you can see the chunks that I had told you before, the fragments, the size of the fragments you had to select. In your folder, you can check the logs for the created image here. Click on the log file. And you can see all the information of your image. Hope you guys find this video interesting and informative. Please subscribe to our channel and support us in creating further videos. Thank you so much.